Once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about what is a defibrillator machine and how to use it and how to get it ready and how to deliver shock. So, first of all, this is one of the defibrillators from the manufacturer is Philips and the model is Heart Start XL Plus. We will explain how to use this defibrillator. Make sure every time the BFib is connected to the charging cable because we need to keep it charged so that we can utilize it for the emergency purpose. How would you know that the defibrillator is charging? As you can see, it's getting charged electrically. Have a look. This is the sign that it's connected to the cable. Uh, so it will be used on the battery. Now, is the another sign is also here. The plug is in there, battery is charging. So this is how you know that the battery is charging or not. In this video later, I will explain how this defibrillator is used for the different kinds of shock as we have multiple types of shock like cardioversion shock, defibrillation, as well as synchronized shock. Another thing, the beauty of this defibrillator is pacing. that we can use it for pacing purpose as well. How do we use it? How to get it ready? How to uh, settle the modes? I will show you in this video. Now let's turn on the defibrillator machine from here. As you can see, there is a regulator. You can set desired joule accordingly. There is a monitor. Just If you just want to keep it on monitor only, that I want to only monitor the ECG only, you can keep it here on this mode. But after that, what you need to do here, there is a connector. Sometimes it's disconnected like this. So now how to connect it, this is the most crucial point that mostly people do mistakes actually. Just we need to do like this and put it and release. So once you release, there is a click sound. That means that it's properly connected now. Sometimes if it is loose, then that means that it will not read any ECG or any rhythm here. So make sure that it's connected properly and there's a click sound like this. Meanwhile, so this cable, this connection is used for the pedals. If you are using this defibrillator from the pedal, you have to connect this side. Or if you want to connect it on the disposable pads, there are disposable pads. I will show you how to use this, how to apply pads on the patient's chest. If you are using it for the disposable pads, you need to switch this cable from pedal cable to the disposable pedal cable, as you can see. Same as that, but the port is different. So this can be used for multiple purpose. For ECG monitoring, this portable pads can be used for yeah. ECG monitoring yeah. as well as shock. We can do the external pacing. For external pacing, I will show you later how to utilize the mode actually. So, but this is just I want to tell you. So let's switch from this to this for a time being. Same as this. See, there's a click sound again. It's adjusted now, it's not loose. So this one will be connected to the disposable pads. Open this. In the disposable pads, there are two chest pads and there's a connection. So how to apply this there is an indication also here if you are using it for the adult you have to put this side the one with the arrows this one will go to the patient upper chest like this and this one will go to the uh, mid axillary see there is uh, indication yes, as sir. well here or if you are using it for the children children you can put this one on the back side and this side on the mid of the chest anteriorly now let's connect this one once you are connected let's apply the chest pads on the patient chest you can show it here on the regulator let's turn on now the machine is turning on there is an ecg for a while you can change the lead from here now it's on the pad so this defibrillator machine is detecting the ecg by the this defibrillator pads so now I convert it to the pad, so let's if I attach it to the patient, so it will read the ECG here. The benefit of is this is while we are using it for the emergency purpose or any cardiac cases, if there is any emergency situation, we can directly deliver the shock from these pads, as well as we can do the pacing from these pads. But for the pacing, we need to apply the ECG leads to the patient, as well as you can monitor the situation with this defibrillator machine. It has multiple usages. Once it's connected, you will see the patient ECGs on the screen here. Meanwhile, if patient crashes or the patient needs the urgent shock, what you can do? Simply, if you are using this pedal and it's on the pad mode, you just need to go the desired joule. You need to press the charge button. See, it's also indicating you, the defibrillator is giving you indicators here. So what you need to do first, second and third. Adjust a joule for you. Second one is charge. charge. So once you charge, it will keep charging. Then when the revibrator shade ready for shock, 
then you can apply the shock from here. If the patient is not connected a disposable pad, you can utilize the defibrillator its own pad. So similarly, first you selected the jewel from here. Second one, you need to charge, right? And the third one, you need to deliver a shock from here. So there are three steps. Now, this one can also be used for the pacing purpose. If you want to do the external pacing, this machine can also be used for the external pacing purpose with these pads. You will attach the ACG electrodes to the patient. Now on the ECG, we need to change it to the pacer. So here's a pacer mode. Now this is most important here. You can see the rate, you can select the rate from here. You can manipulate, let's suppose 100 or 90 or whatever. Similarly, you can change the output from here. Once you are done, you can start pacing from here. So it will be active. You can press this button and it will start pacing. Now for delivering synchronized shock. So synchronized shock will be delivered on the peak of R wave. So we'll remove again from the pacing mode to the jewel and because it will deliver the shock on the peak of R wave and then press this button now every clean yeah this defib also showing you it's synchronized now in this mode you don't need to do anything because this defibrillator will detect the peak of R wave deliver the shock automatically so you don't need to do anything for defibrillation you need to do it manually either from here you can do it or from the paddle or with this all right, so there is another thing. If you want to do it adult or pediatric, there is one more option here. You can press it. See, it's showing you the infant or child mode. Why this mode is there? If you convert it into the pediatric mode and you selected the higher jewels, uh, it will not support. For the pediatric, yeah. like this. So you can use this uh, pediatric pad as well if you are using it from here. Like this, you can again attach it. Like this. Just I will initially tell you the modes how we can utilize the modes here From here you can go to the menu you can adjust the volume You can display the wave setting as well and the measurement of the alarm as well as patient information or the trend I want to do the setting for the volume now voice you can change the voice just select right go soft Infant child mode. Infant child. Or the, you want to go exit or so press it down and then press exit These functions are when the transcutaneous spacing is on now, the, when the pacer is on, then it will give you highlight this function. So, this one is for the output. You can increase the output, decrease the output. This one for the heart rate. And this one for the start pacing. Once it's attached and there is ECG, you want to start the pacing, then press the start button. Uh, in this machine, there is another thing, AED mode as well. So, you can use this machine as an AED as well. That the AED is what automatic electrical defibrillator. So, the machine will command you actually. So, you will just follow the instruction what is there for the CPR. This machine will detect everything and you have to follow the instruction. Let's convert it again to the monitor. There is an alarm and report. How we can test this machine? You need to go to 150. For a test, make sure this defibrillator machine is connected to this pedal not the uh, disposable pedal or external pedal. Let's change it. Just turn the setting into the 150. You can do it from here and you can do it from here. First you need to charge. It, now it's giving indication to deliver shock. So both you have to press both together for delivering a shock. So you can take a test strip out. Thank you so much for watching.